You may be wondering who I am. Well, let's ask my good friend Jim Goddard from Discovery Diving Tokyo. The other day, Jim said that I look like this. Every time I see Alex's picture on a thumbnail, my brain automatically thinks this. And I'm so sorry. He's gonna hate me forever. Alec, I hope, sorry, it's all good fun. But I don't, I look like this, Jim, but don't you forget it. I assuming you're still a diver, you remember that I really am an underwater creature. And you better be careful. Now, fortunately, Jim, I'm a good sport. It doesn't bother you one bit. It seemed to me that the other day when you were making fun of me because I'm old, you seem to be really concerned about my being upset, my being insulted or irritated. No, not at all. I make a lot of fun of people. Well, I don't. I make a lot of fun of my wife and Kevin. I make a lot of fun of people. But I can take it too. I'm very, very thick skinned. You don't get to be my age, 50 years in the scuba diving business without developing a thick skin. So it doesn't bother me one bit. Jim, I enjoyed that. I enjoy watching you. And uh, it was nice of you to include me in your list of the seven best YouTube channels to watch. Um, however, Jim, you will be old too one day. Anyway, it was good fun. I enjoyed that. Let's get back on topic here. This is Scuba Tech Tips, broadcasting from Aquarius Scuba Diving Center, one of the biggest and best and oldest scuba diving centers in all of Canada. If you're ever in the city of Toronto, make sure you drop into Aquarius. Everybody calls it just Aquarius. Aquarius Scuba Diving Center. Now, Aquarius, just call it Aquarius. So we're broadcasting there. And as you saw from the title, I wanted to mention about some new uses for old tanks. We have gone over old tanks, can they be used, uh, 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 can they be tested and everything, and the answer to all of that is yes, old tanks can often be used. In our vintage group of divers, the Sea Hunt group or the vintage group of divers, some of the divers have tanks that were made in the 40s, tanks in the 50s and 60s, very common, 70s and 80s, lots of them around, okay? So the point is this, the scuba tanks, yes, they do wear out and they can be destroyed, but if they have been treated carefully and if they're carefully tested, they can be reused. However, so what are you going to do with the old tank? Or maybe you have a source of old tanks. Maybe you have a dive store, or you know a dive store owner. you got all these old tanks. Sure, you can take them to the scrapyard if you want, and you get your 15 cents for the metal. There's not much steel in a steel tank. They're very thin. And, and, and even the aluminum tanks uh, don't have a lot of metal in them. You can do that. But there are other uses as well. You can cut them. Very easy to cut them. If you have a machine shop nearby that has a big bandsaw, they're easy to cut. It takes a matter of minutes. This is a steel tank. This is the bottom off a steel tank, all right? Then there's the tank itself in here. Then there's the top. You know what the top looks like, the tapered top. Uh, this bottom part has got a lot of uses. You can use it for a flower pot. You can use it for a dog dish. You can use it as an ashtray. That's, that's what uh, one of the dive stores in town here for a long time used to use this aluminum tank, bottom, <laughs> as an ashtray. And I think now they're using it for a dog dish. A dog water dish. So lots of uses for that. The tops of these tanks are useful too. If you have a top of the tank, I've seen lots and lots of guys, uh, more so vintage collectors, and they have a lot of old regulators that they want to display. Mount the regulator on the top, fasten it on, and it makes a very, very nice display. Maybe other uses for tops as well. Kevin's going to show you some pictures. How about this? How about making your old tank into a barbecue? How do you do that? Well, take a look here. Here's, you can make it into a barbecue. I'm not sure how good a barbecue it is, but if you're a diver and your friends are all divers and you're having a barbecue, maybe a barbecue on the beach after a scuba dive, what would be more appropriate than to open up your scuba tank barbecue and barbecue the burgers? Makes it perfect sense. Flower pots I already mentioned. Scuba bells are really, really popular. And we have some scuba bells at the ranch. You know that my wife Diane and I live in the country. Uh, maybe you've been to my other uh, channel, Alec Pierce at the Ranch, and you can see my windmill and you can see the scuba bells. Here's a picture of, of the scuba bells that we have hanging up there that uh, Diana made. And you can see that they have uh, a, a tail on them that makes, them, makes the big ring, the big heavy washer inside ring the bells. Here's one I hadn't seen before. I was looking around the other day, I forget what I was looking for, but I went to old scuba tanks and I went to images and I scrolled down a little ways and son of a gun, I came across a pictures, a pictures of six or seven lamps, yeah, table lamps. Somebody had taken an old scuba tank, 
about like this. I, didn't, I don't remember the base. Maybe they just used the scuba tank boot. And they actually put a lamp on top with a shade. Okay, hey, listen. Again, if you're an active scuba diver, maybe at the clubhouse or in your basement, in your rec room, and you want a nice lamp made out of a scuba tank, go for it. There's lots and lots of ideas. Let your imagination run wild. And of course, for those, all these different projects I've mentioned, you don't have to have any testing done. You may have to find a machine shop or do it yourself. It can actually be done yourself if you're very, very careful. If you've got some old scuba tanks and you really aren't going to use them anymore, maybe you have a new scuba tank, you're wondering what to do with them, or you can get some old scuba tanks, whatever. you got some old scuba tanks, don't throw them out. Don't take them to the scrapyard. You know? Use your imagination. Make them into something good. That conversation piece. Let me know. Send me in the comments some ideas that you may have for using old scuba tanks. It'd be fun to see them. Okay, guys, that's it. See you, Jim. Be careful. And you guys, too. Take care. Alec Pierce from Aquarius in Toronto.